Hello everyone. Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. We are going to talk about how to extract data behind a login. In this case, just three steps can help us get access to the data behind the login. Let's get a quick look. After opening the sign in page in Octopus with the go to web page step, first, Create a text input step for entering the username. Second, create a text input step for entering the password. Third, create a click item for clicking the sign in button. Then we can enter into eBay with our account. Next, I will show you how the complete task is done in Octopus. There are five steps. Let's begin with step one. Enter the login information to sign in the web page. When the page is loaded, click on the text box for entering the username. Select Enter Text from the Action Tips. Input the username. Click OK. Now my username has been entered into the text box on the page. Repeat the same steps for entering the password. Then, we can click the sign in button on the page. Select click button. Well, we have logged in eBay successfully. The password is well protected in Octopus. When we enter our password, it is only accessible on our own account. When a task is exported, the password saved in the task gets removed automatically by Octopus. Besides, the login information saved will be removed from our account, permanently, as soon as the task is deleted. Now, let us go to next step. Step 2. Open the target web page for extracting data. After login, we may enter the page, that is not what we need to extract. So we have to open the target web page. In this case, drag a go to web page action to the workflow. In the page URL text box, enter the URL of the target page. Click OK. As you can see, Octopus has opened the page with our account logged in. Here we would like to introduce the cookie saving feature to optimize the workflow. By saving cookies, the workflow will speed up when it is running. And we can skip the login steps next time when we configure the task again. Let's check it out. Under the advanced options, click to open the cache settings. Select use specified cookie. Click load cookie from current web page. Click OK to save the settings. Now the web page is remembered the login information. So we can skip the steps of entering user information. Right click on the previous steps, then we can delete them. Even we delete the previous steps, the page is still logging in our user information. Please kindly notice that, the effective period of the cookies, is varied from different websites. Some may stay effective for a long time, while some may expire as the browser is closed. When the cookies expire, we will need to go through the login steps again, to save the updated cookies in Octopus. Besides, if you want to start with the login steps every time, you can clear the cookies. In the cache setting, select clear cache before opening the web page. In this way, the target website will forget you and require entering the login information every time. Now, let us go to next step. Step 3. Create a pagination loop to extract data from all pages. We will continue the task with all the previous login steps. Scroll down, click on the next button. Select loop click the link.
Step 4. Create a loop item and select the information we want to extract. We'd better go back to the first page to loop click each item. And enter into the detail page. Then we can extract the information we want. Like the name, condition and price. Edit the field name if needed. The last step. Run the task to get the data. Click Save and Start Extraction to obtain the data. Thank you for watching.